Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Reggie. It's been a while since I've posted here. And today we're gonna talk about something pretty damn special. I mean, we're gonna talk about my latest edition. Possibly my greatest edition. My guitar collection at this point. This is my PRS Custom 24 4 model from 2006. And this thing comes with a pretty interesting story that I gotta tell you about. Just, uh, the only way I can sum it up is this is how I got scammed $800 and got a core PRS guitar. Also, we'll be doing some sound demos and I'll be doing uh, sound comparison to my SE model. But this thing, yeah, this is one of the latest additions to my arsenal. And it's just. The story behind it is just insane. It's just the fact that. So, you guys know that I'm an avid guitar collector and I've had, at some point, four DRS and SC model. My first one was a seven string that lasts too long. I liked it, but it didn't have the tonality that I liked from, you know, a seven string Ibanez after I had that. Of if I'm going to go 7 string, it needs to be an Ibanez. I just didn't have that drum. Too funny. I had the Clint Lowry, which is one of my favorite guitars out there. It is my go to. It was my original go to for drop A sharp, then I turned it to drop B. I got the SE model from 2020 before the one came to the 2408. That was a thing. And it's my. It was for the longest time my go-to model for PRS and my SE. My Sunburst SE is my go-to proxy for. And I even have a Tremonti that you guys haven't seen yet because uh, there were some technical issues. I have. I don't really play prop too often in the world, but I have four SE models, and this year I really wanted to. Don't mind that, that's my dog being nosy about the camera. Licking the camera. So. Coco, seriously, stop. Stop. Okay. Okay, so anyways, this... I've had four SE models over the years, and outside of, like, my seven-string corn guitars, they are some of the best guitars I've ever had, but I want the core experience, and... They're not cheap. I like a, my mom's like for the longest time. I tell my mom she would ask me, "What's the difference?" I'm like, "You need at least two grand to even think about buying one." That's the difference. And you know, my mom's like, "I'm not helping you on it. That's on you. This is your world. I support what you do, but that's coming out of your pocket." So for the last couple of months, I was trying to work on an S model. I worked my ass off for four months to save up. I had about $1,800, and I found this guy on Thunder Road's guitars, the guitar shop based in Oregon, and I found it on Reverb. It was going for $2,500. I was able to contact the store directly, and they were like, and I asked them, like, could you go down any lower? And they were like, we can go down to $2,200, or I had fifteen at the time. I was like, God, could you, like, could we do, like, maybe I, I give you 1500 now, you can wait, like, two or three weeks, and I can give you the rest, and like, no, it's gotta be one shot, one deal, we'll try to hold it down for you as long as we humanly can, but we need it all in one shot, so I asked my best friend, Enos, if she could hand me out a loan for, like, $700, so I can get the guitar, because I would get this guitar with you. And I had the money, but I knew in order to justify getting this, I had to sell a few of So I was going to sell uh, the Tremonti that I don't use and one of my six-string Ibanezes. So I was going to sell them on Facebook because I've sold gear before on Facebook. And this one guy hit me up. He seemed to have a legitimate Facebook account. It went back to 2016. So he's like, hey, I want this guitar. And I'm like, yeah, cool, awesome. Uh, can I come to your house and get it? No, I'm at work and I'm uncomfortable with you just showing up to my house. 
you can come on Monday when I'm home and we can go in my neighborhood and buy it. And he's like, okay, cool. Um, how about this? Like, I'll sell you the money and you can hold it down for me until Monday. And I was like, okay, cool. So we exchanged emails and we were trying to exchange each other money. So I, you know, he's like, hey, I can't send you uh four hundred dollars because your Zelle is not a business account if you transfer it out into a business account then I'll be able to send you the money so it's a protection in order to protect us you know it's just to try to protect us both so you send 300 you'll get it back okay that makes sense so I send it to one account and they're like send it over through my bank four hundred dollars and then it's, it's like, oh, it didn't go through. You gotta send another 300. I'm like, dude, come on. I just sent you like $400. Could you just, like, why do I have to do all these steps in order for you to pay me? No, like, you gotta understand. It's like a business thing is to protect us both. It's typically normal. You just gotta do it so we can get through this transaction. You know, I'm trying to figure out a way. And he's like, no, you gotta go through it. It's to protect us. Then you'll get your money. And I'm, I'm literally in the middle of work, so it's not like I can go to a bank or something. I'm, I gotta handle it as I can handle it. So, I'm trying to go through it all. I send him another $300, or another 400 so we got 700 in total. Coco, you don't let me do my video, please? Please? You know, I send about 700 and then I get some weird emails saying, Oh, wait, you gotta send three more hundred dollars in order for it to become a business account, and then you'll get the... I'm like, motherfucker, this is a scam, fuck you! It's like, no, it's not a scam, I swear... No, it's a freaking scam! I... You think I have money like that? I don't have money like that! So I blocked him immediately, I called the cops, I called my bank, and they're like... I have Chase Bank, and they're like, sorry, you're not insured for... We don't really do scam protection that was a notice on you you made the choice you can make a complaint but uh, you're most likely not gonna get the money back so then I went to the cops as soon as I woke up from work and they're like there's nothing we can physically do because no one was touched and the guitar wasn't stolen from you it's a civil dispute you can call this number through 511 in order to make a claim, but there's nothing we can do because you weren't physically touched, nothing was physically stolen. So I'm screwed. Yes, I'm screwed. So after working my ass off for months and taking out a loan from my best friend, which we don't often do with each other, I'm fucked. I can't get this guitar. My mom had enough sympathy and also the way I carried and handled the situation without being emotionally despondent it was like all right I will give you a loan but you will pay me back this is not your birthday present because this guitar stuff is all you here's the money and it is phenomenal by the way I paid back both Enos and my mom back I just worked my ass off for a month to pay them back but yes I finally own a core PRS and I'm fucking ecstatic for it this thing it was weird when i first got it it felt very right at home it felt very familiar to my sc models but it just felt better it felt higher quality felt more comfortable than my scs ever were and my scs were pretty damn comfortable guitars
was it felt familiar but different and I love Prospect My Dream PRS was always a platinum metallic with a stop tail gap to the drop C sharp. I'm gonna either get that or turn that into a private stock one. Uh, Brad Delson had the exact model I'm looking for. Ben Burnley did, but he had a standard 22. I'm, I'm looking for No offense to the to 22 Predators out for four. And, but I went with this because Brad Delson's uh, Hybrid Theory Soldier guitar was this exact color. This isn't a red. It is a red, but it's a black cherry. And this thing made it smooth. It's like butter. And I played it out on my debut show on my birthday. And it's great sounding. And that, and I also bought myself a Helix LT, which you'll be seeing in part hearing on the channel very soon. So, you know, I believe the tone I had with two instruments together, it was just a phenomenal combo, and I'm so happy to have this part of my thing. So, uh, done with the talking for now, why don't we just do some sound demos, see what it sounds like we did, both from my Spark camp and also some bias effects on the full song demo. Yeah, this guitar, I even able to customize it, I customized the cross rod cover, so a little bit more unique to me to get off the heads. You know, so it is mine and no one can complain otherwise. This thing great playability, I got it set up, drops it from the guy list. One day. I had to supply him the the for it, and he had to do some adjustments to the top because I had some heavy, heavy pages. Bob C sharp, I think he went for Marzio? Or, no, not the front end, but like a 1256 fret marking for fret. And, you know, he's like, oh, you know, you gotta be a little careful about, you don't need to get that heavy gauge set for Bob C. So use like heavy or better. No. But uh yeah, this thing is beautiful, immaculate. This thing feels high quality. I'm so happy for a model finally in my life. And I have all of you guys that so, so this is what I want to spend. I will see you later. Peace!